What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Manchester City career mode. In today's episode we have two matches, the first of which is against Chelsea at the Etihad Stadium is a home match and then later on the episode we go down to White Hart Lane, we go to Londinium Town to verse Tottenham Hotspur. So two big matches in today's episode, two top five matches but just to quickly recap the last episode before we get into this one, guys, if you haven't gotten to see it, I highly recommend you do. There were some pretty big results. We end up winning 3-0 against Arsenal at the Emirates down in London, which is absolutely fantastic. Sergio Aguero manages to pick up the man of the match and his first hat-trick in this season. He ended up scoring two penalties, and Arsene Wenger wasn't the man on the day. His defense was crumbling left, right, and center, giving away two penalties. Later on the episode, we had our first match in the Champions League against Zenit, and we ended up winning 5-0, which was absolutely crazy. We went we went all the way to Russia, and we ended up smacking them around the park 5-0. Sergio Aguero picked up one goal, Memphis Depay. Uh, Dzeko managed to pick up one goal. Speaking of Dzeko, he manages to start off the scoring here against Chelsea. Puts one past Courtois, Kazuma. Kazuma. And Tim Cahill couldn't quite contain him. And it was Ramirez trying to tag him, the small Brazilian, the centre defensive mid. <laughs> but Oscar there nearly starts off the scoring for Chelsea with a very interesting scissor kick. It was really close to Loris. And uh, yeah, I guess he gets to face his former club in the next uh, match. I didn't really, I didn't even realise. But the other goals, the other um, two goals were from David Silva. But um, just before half time, Chelsea was still trying to get one back from me. But Nasri manages to step up, manages to whip it in. Dzeko climbing to the occasion, but uh, he does manage to get up on the head up. But Courtois, the Belgian, manages to save it quite comfortably. But Sergio Aguero beats the Chelsea defence here, finds Dzeko. But Courtois is just such a good player on FIFA 15. He's so overpowered. He basically saves anything. I'm still quite surprised with one new up. Yaya Toure blistering past the Chelsea defence, manages to get his high-powered thigh shot off, but it was saved quite comfortably, and we only end up winning 1-0. So it was very, I don't know, should we deserve to win that match? We did have a lot of chances. Courtois really did help them a lot. Maybe we were being a little bit ambitious, trying to score from far out, but hey, what are you going to do? And But guys, we do have a match against Tottenham coming up. But guys, thank you very much if you've ever liked a video. You've favorited a video, you've commented a, a video of mine, or you have subscribed because of this series. I thank you. I wouldn't be anywhere as a YouTuber without you guys, and uh, you guys are absolutely fantastic, and I appreciate all the support. So, thank you very much, guys. Let's get into the match against Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, my God. It's a home match. Oh, I do apologize. I thought it was. A, I thought we were going down to... Oh, I seem like a dickhead. <laughs> My apologies, guys. We're not going down to White Hart Lane. We're not going to Londinium Town. We're staying at Manchester, and we're playing at the Etihad Stadium. We've got two home matches. I thought it was a away match. My mistake. Anyway, guys, David Silver on the ball here manages to skip past the Tottenham Hotspur defense. He manages to get his left foot shot off. Missed it like he... Um, Manages to miss the sliding tackle, but Ed and Jekko here free from space and manages to hit the crossbar because they are playing Friedel now. They didn't actually buy a new goalkeeper, which is, I don't know, could be a mistake on Tottenham Hotspur's behalf. But we do manage to start off the scoring in this match, and it was Sergio Aguero manages as a backflip into the post, the Argentine. And Sergio Aguero, what a player he is. He was absolutely fantastic in my Real Madrid career mode. He's just so awesome. David Silva, the Spaniard, manages to pick out the perfect through ball. He only takes one sh uh, touch, and he hits it straight away. Sergio Aguero blistering past the Tottenham Hotspur defense here just before half time. A Whips it into Dzeko, but Dzeko really couldn't quite get to it, which was unfortunate. But another penalty gets given. I think Sergio has scored three penalties this season. It's absolutely crazy. And uh, Tottenham Hotspur, he managed to give away a red card, which is not good. They're only 1-0 down. I don't know why Fazio here, just before the, th the 53rd minute, managed to go in for a sliding tackle like that. Like, you're nearly, you're nearly better off to, con like, to concede and then maybe... Um, I'm going to try to get back into the match. But I have no idea how this wasn't a penalty. Absolutely ridiculous. I fooled you there. Yaya Toro steps up. Absolutely belts it over the crossbar past Brad Friedel. 
and uh, we didn't actually. So I swear that was a penalty. I swear that was in the box. But Sergio here nearly manages to bring it back. He gets his shot off, but I've got to give it to Friedel. That was a pretty solid save. But we were all over Tottenham Hotspur at this point. David Silva manages to whip it in. Jordi Alba on the edge of the box feeds it to Navas. Navas gets his shot off. And another fantastic save from Brad Friedel here. We do manage to get another free kick in a pretty dangerous situation. 26 yards out. Silva manages to shoot. It goes over a little bit wide. He did actually score a pretty good free kick against Newcastle in the first match. But David Silva here on the ball. He still manages to get his goal and puts it into the to the back left-hand corner. And what a goal from David Silva to make it 2-0 in front of the home fans. He manages to maintain possession. Obviously, the left foot, he doesn't have a very good right foot. He manages to whip it in somehow and makes it 2-0. But on the counter-attack in the 90th minute, we're pushing, or Tottenham Hospital are pushing too many players forward. And do they get an equaliser? Not quite. Saldado here manages to get up on the header, but uh, Loris, the former Tot Tottenham Hotspur player, manages to save quite comfortably. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like to support this series and my channel. And above all, remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch this video. Thanks a bunch, guys. This has been your boy, Simsy. Goodbye.